Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. It's time to get crazy with another K level. This is 2K, Apopolis. Ooh, this one is a, uh, it's a bit of a doozy. It's probably my favorite of the K levels, if I remember them correctly. It's very fun, and it does break a rule that I said earlier in this Let's Play. I said no ABJ. However, today, Always be jumping. Ooh, so I, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. I thought I gave you a uh, a partner barrel to start this one. It does not. So I'm gonna see how far I can get with just Donkey Kong. But the uh, the reality of my situation is probably not far. You have to get really good at uh, doing the time jumps, and if you do enough of them, as you saw there, you'll wind up getting a life. This level is wonderful if you are short on lives and you are trying to... That was pretty slick, wasn't it? If you're trying to uh, farm lives, this is kind of your your best bet to do it. All right, so this one's a little tricky. I've already messed it up. <laughs> oh boy. I just like the immediate Acknowledgement of my failure. Okay, let's back out for a second. This level is exceptionally harder without a Kong Panion. And I thought that it would give them to you at the very beginning like the last one did, but this one's a little bit trickier. Apparently it does not. Let's go ahead and engage in capitalism here and I'm gonna buy my self. Let's go ahead and buy five. Five Dixie Barrels. Who knows what I'll wind up using them for in the future. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say what I'm using them for. I should say when I use them. It will definitely be dependent on if I'm feeling like I need it. And in this level, I definitely do. I also bought myself a... <laughs> okay. Thank you, game. I bought myself a... Um, one of those vehicle protector things, a shield. I was going to use that for the rocket barrel level, but I forgot. I don't even know if it would honestly have benefited me. I mean, I didn't, guess I didn't technically need it. I didn't die because I crashed into stuff. All the deaths were intentional. Okay. And there you go. What's weird, though, is like, this is not the way that this was formatted in the original version of this game. I'm pretty sure that it would just, like, pop up a barrel there and give you the option. Okay. I got used to the controls again. It's been a hot minute since I recorded. But yeah, if you want to rack up a ton of lives, this is a good place to do it. I don't know how many jumps in a row it takes to get a life. I want to say six. Could be wrong. Probably it. But uh, yeah, having Daisy, Daisy, Dixie, having Dixie, having um, Diddy. Cranky's probably not super useful here, but being able to have that extra jump there is definitely a boon. Get as many jumps in as you can. You get to string them together. That's kind of the, the MO of this one. So always be jumping. Always be jumping in this one. This one's a lot of fun. The last one was just kind of tedious. This one is definitely enjoyable. And having Ixie obviously makes this possible. Brought, brought to you uh, by viewers like you. So having her around is definitely helpful. I don't know how many jumps that was, but you can count for yourselves. Zoop, there you go. And you just gotta, you gotta string them together. The more you do, obviously, the, uh, oh, poo. Well, <laughs> whoops. I darn missed it. I was actually doing really well, surprisingly. I don't have high hopes for myself. I've got five shots. Well, I mean, technically, I have as many shots as I do. Banana coins are stubbornness to continue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So it is eight, eight bops on an enemy's head. It will net you a life, so if you're low on lives, this is a good place to come, especially like at the end of the game, when uh, lives are at a bit of a premium. If you are playing the more difficult levels and you're struggling a bit, a quick pop in here will cure your woes. I thought it was weird though, because I'm pretty sure that I got that first puzzle piece, but it did not give it to me. I had to redo it, which is a little odd, but 
I'm not complaining because I'm so epic that it doesn't even matter. So we have three of the five so far. I believe all these K levels only have five, so that's pretty nice. Not really a ton to have to worry about, but we're gonna keep it going here. Keep this party. Oh dang, I did it again. Can I get it? Maybe I can still get it? I don't know if I have enough lift to, maybe I do. Oh, look at that. Who's epic? This guy here at D Mike Industries. We pride ourselves at never giving up, especially when there's delicious puzzle pieces involved. Yeah, there's just so many things to bop on here, which is fun. Bopping can be referred to, I guess, as a, uh, a jumping motion. Or in the case of music you like, maybe a, Man, I was listening to that song. It was a really good bop. All right. Whoop. Racking up all these lives that I don't need. I think the game caps you at... Whoop. It caps you at... Oops. 100 or 99. So I guess these are just kind of pointless. Just to show off a little bit. If you want to feel epic like me. Can't say I blame you. All right. Like I didn't get everything. I did not. <laughs> Unfortunately, the final puzzle piece is not in this, so I must have missed it. Whoops. But I did get the happy box. Who knows what's inside? Do you guys remember Wonder Balls? Those were fun, right? Those weird chocolate spheres. Yeah, not quite my best. I did get a mysterious relic, though. Let's go back in. I don't know... I remember where the final piece is. I've got a feeling it's near the end because the other four were pretty recognizable. So we'll jump back in there. We're having a good time. It's fine. It's Popopolis. You can't have a bad time. I mean, if you don't like jumping, I guess this would be a level where you would probably be a little bit unenthused. Oh, there it is. I had to get all the bananas. So I was wrong. It wasn't at the end, it was at the beginning. There it is. I would have had a clean run had I not messed that up, but whatever. I guess I can just see arbitrarily how many bops I can do. Because why not? We're just having fun. And you can bop on pretty much anything. Whatever you're into, you know? Don't let the world... Oops. <laughs> I got so busy trying to make a funny that I died. Is it not gonna give me my... Where am I... Did I use all five of my Dixies already? I feel like I didn't. All right. Let's see if I can do this DK only. I mean, I already have all the... Oh wait, shoot. No, I do have all the puzzle pieces, okay. So I'm fine. Let's see, for a challenge, a challenge, if I can do this DK only. It's one of the things that I feel like that's probably like a cool speedrunning category of this game is to see if you can do a uh, DK only run. No Kong Panion to bail you out when you make a goof. None, none like that. And this game is, is pretty tricky, but it's definitely doable. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh, we're still alive, everybody. I must screw that up right after I said that too. At least the game kind of gives you a bit of a breezer there with like the auto jump, that's nice. But you gotta time it right, you gotta get them. No participation trophies here. You gotta earn it. Okay, so we're doing fine. Hopefully you're all doing fine. Enjoying this potentially nice weather where you're at. Weather's pretty decent in my area for once, which is good. Starting to warm up. We love that. Here at Dave Mike Industries, we pride ourselves in enjoying nice things. Oops. <laughs> apparently you can't, you, apparently you can't get that barrel from falling into it. Okay, lesson learned. See, we're learning things here at Deep Mike Industries. We pride ourselves on always learning. A, B, A, B, L, always be learning. You're never too old to learn. And you're never too learned to be old. Whatever that means. It means nothing. Just like the majority of the things I say. Okay, so we're doing well. We're having a blasty blast. We're enjoying this classic Donkey Kong Country music, I hope. Compliments to David Wise and whoever else was on the sound design team. 
wonderful work as per usual. I really hope that there's a, uh, a sequel to this game at some point. I feel like the IP is just too good to not have a Switch original Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country is always going to be one of my favorite franchises, especially because of how much I love platformers. So that's kind of without saying, but... Alright, so I guess I didn't need to do that. Can I make it? Nope. <laughs> Gambled and I lost. I'm not very good at, uh... I'm not very good at gambling. I'm not much of a... Not much of a gambling man. Don't have a very good pu -pu -pu poker face. That's for sure. But hey, it's fun watching me get progressively better, right? Unless you hate that. I hate when people do things that are nice and fun and make them happy. I heard it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now we're just being a little foolish. We were making progress every time, and then I spoke too soon. All right, no hubris this time around. Just OG legit gameplay for all of you. Full focus. 100%. Life on the line. If I don't make it, I'm going to go and... Uh... Never mind. <laughs> Not going to finish that statement. I feel like I still have to finish the level if I want to get that final puzzle piece to count. Which I do, because there's artwork to be seen at the end of this episode. Spoilers. Stay tuned, everybody. We're gonna finish this level. We're going to whew, take on the boss. I will tell you in advance. Oops. Okay. You know what? As fun as this is, I actually would like to beat this level sometime today. Oh, I did have them and it didn't let me use them. What? That's so lame. Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe it's because it's going into the level a new time, technically. Every time that you exit a level because of a choice or because you beat it. So yeah, okay. So you beat off the level and then it forces you to uh, reset your inventory. Lesson learned, okay. See, ABL everybody, always be learning. Also, A-H-C-S, always have common sense. Or don't, you do whatever you want. But ABD, that's not negotiable. Always be ducking, always. Alright, so we've got Dixie here, or Daisy as I said earlier because I'm dumb. So we've got Dixie here, so hopefully power us to a successful run through of Bopopolis. Although, technically I'm kind of cheesing it a little bit because I'm not getting all the puzzle pieces. But I don't need to, because you only have to do that one time. Cha cha now, y'all. So, that's basically it. You finish up, finish strong here. I do really enjoy this though. The jumping mechanic, especially with like the uh, the ability to get higher jumps and lower jumps depending upon how much pressure you put on the button, is kind of neat. I like people put pressure on my button. Anyway, so we're getting all the lives. Really need these lives too, so it's very good that I'm able to rack them up. I'm running low. Okay, so that feels pretty good. First time. Not very often you beat a K level in your first try. Boop, there it is. Feeling pretty evergreen. That's an evergreen statement. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, whew, give it our best effort here with the boss. I will tell you in advance, this boss is very difficult. So I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I do have the, ben the benefit of the additional funky heart. So that's good. So. Here we go, world two boss, mountaintop tussle. You can tussle with my mountaintop whenever you want, viewers. All right, here we go, who's ready? Hope you like things that aren't real. And there's a free barrel right at the beginning. Very, very nice. I'm gonna blast away into the eyeball. Okay. Ooh, take a deep breath. D-Mike, here we go. Oh! 
Look at that sweet nanner. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> it's very good. How dare you smash our banana? But look at this guy. Oh yeah. He looks legendary. Also the grumpy face, I'm sorry. The grumpy face is too good. All right, so I don't quite remember how to uh, do this boss. I know there's a little bit of bullet heck nonsense. And we have to throw eggs at him. Not sure where he's getting those from. You know, he's not a mama bird unless he's stealing them. Although I do know, oop. That's one of the things you have to be careful of too, is uh, this level gets kind of dicey with the bird swooping down at you. This level is not a hoot. But you just gotta bonk on his minions. That sounds inappropriate. Oops, missed. Great. If you could just stay put, please. That would be wonderful. There we go, he ran into it. Would love a heart sometime soon, because I feel like losing Dixie would be horrible. But it looks like we've completed phase one successfully. I think that there are, I want to say three phases. Oop. Okay, pretty uncool. We'll use our bopping skills. Ooh, there's a heart in this one too, that's very nice. Oop. Oh boy, almost lost it. Things are getting a little dicey. The hearts stay put, which is nice. If the hearts would get blown away, that'd be really, uh, really rude. But now we're back at full strength. Oof. You have to use the, uh, the barrels on the side to escape the feather barrage. Okay, ooh. Oh, that's, that is not cool. Remember, you can only, remember, rem <laughs> remember, remember, you can only do damage collecting the, I don't know, the minions that have the eggshell on top of their head. Those are the only ones that will stick around for you. But you bop on these ones, you'll get banana coins, a heart. Because this boss definitely doesn't have one. I tell you, I tell you what. Oh, he's grumpy now. Brrr, did you hear that? All right, phase three, here we go. This is probably gonna be really bad. Do I have a... Uh... Oop, I don't know how to avoid this. Okay, great. I think I was supposed to roll sooner, okay. Looks like this is gonna be a Donkey Kong only finale. What could go wrong? I can't use my special powers. Oop. It's like a little bit of uh, Whatever that game is called. Where you avoid stuff. Yes, that one. That's the one. Avoid the things, everybody. Oh, there we go. We have ammo. There we go. I bonked them. Got them good. Space Invaders. That's the one. Could not remember that name. Oh, boy. Whoa. This is pretty uncool. Putting your dodging skills to the test. If a quiz is quizzical, what does that make a test? Difficult. That's what it is. Oh boy. Alright, so we're doing fine. Everything is okay, for now. This battle can be very disheartening though, because it's long and hard. And if you, if you, oh boy. If you goof, you gotta redo basically the whole thing. So that's not fun. I don't know if this is like... RNG dependent, or if it's like based on my location, but it's very strange. Okay, here we go. More of these shenanigans. These aren't too bad, thankfully. They fall in a pretty easily recognizable pattern that you can get out of the way, hopefully, in time. Ooh, I thought that would have touched me. Probably should have, to be honest. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I need you. Oh no, that was it. Ooh, boy. This has gone from bad to worse. Got to really focus in here. Thankfully, the eggs are pretty well telegraphed. I say that I'm probably going to die. Oh, here we go. Will it give me the final hit of the game for free? <gasps> it did! 
Oops. <laughs> I hit the wrong buttons. I was I hit L and R really fast, if you could hear that. I got one. That's good, right? Okay. First try, literally. Good for me. And for you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That was amazing. I'm amazing. You're amazing. We're all amazing. World 2 complete. You're gonna get a little sneak peek of World 3 here? It's a bit of a, uh, bit of a savanna. But, uh, we don't have time for World 3 yet. No, no, no. We still have business to do in World 2. Yes, we do! So, as per usual, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bit of a reward for a hard day's work. Okay. Let's go ahead and get five. New toys, here we go. Okay. Rambi toy, nice. Okay. All right, so only one new one. That's okay. This place is for the birds. Well, birds aren't real funky, so I don't really know what you're talking about. But, we got some new things to enjoy. Okay. So, Let's look at all of our figurines we have acquired so far. I don't know if I've already shown these or not, but if I have, um, pretend you didn't see them. Oh, look at Diddy, he's jumping with his belly out. We got our nice funky figurine. Pretty cool, I like the... The modeling on the hair, looks pretty real. We just got the Rambi one. Oh, Rambi, look at you. What a guy. Uh, the minecart, which sucks. So screw you, minecart. Funky's friend talks. You can see the names in the upper right hand corner. All right, so that's neat. We got a figurine of Pompey, a presumptuous. He's so presumptuous. They're penguins, tux. Tough Tux, because he's got a helmet on. Always wear your helmets. Penguin. Oh, okay, I get it. Huh. The Snowmads. Fluff. Oh, he's just a little rabbit. You wascally rabbit. And finally, Waldo. That's a great name and probably my favorite one. I also love... I can't tell. Are those like his swim trunks or is he holding them up with a piece of rope? I don't know. Oh yeah, because I, apparently it's not having recorded that I showed all this. I did. This is all stuff that I showed the last time, but I guess the game didn't save it. Anyway. World 2 imagery, here we go. Some cool game art. Very nice, whoever did this, very talented. Shout out to whoever you are. Thank you for making cool stuff. Yes, this is very good. Oh, little beavers on a wheel. They're bringing it around town. Yeah, look at this. This is some cool stuff. If you don't like art, then that's too bad. All right, here we go. Here's some of the enemies from World 2. The skunk, the rat, bees, hate bees, a goat, the greatest of all time, and fire pig. And then if you haven't seen the ones from the first, there you go. Okay. So we got one last thing to check out. Here's the diorama from World 1, although I've already shown that. And the diorama from World 2. Zoom in a little bit. Looks like we've got Funky hanging out with Cranky. Bonking rats on the head. Got a penguin flying out of this big horn. That's kind of a cool thing. Not sure exactly how that works. But uh, that owl really knows how to blow. And this rat's eating some G's. Okay. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will be heading to the Bright Savannah and we will do level 3 1. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And I'll see you next time. Bye.